So hello once again, you are watching Northwoods Discovery on YouTube. Please look for my channel, look for my other videos on how to do this, how to do that, how to make a project, how to fix something, a review on a certain product. Ask tons of questions because I, I only review the products that I have. So if you have questions about it, I'll go out and make sure that I find the answers for you before you spend the money on it. Um, look for my channel and other videos is all I'm saying and subscribe, that would be amazing. So today I'm working with Bug Stop home barrier defense and it's good for inside and it's good for outside uh, once it dries it's okay for humans to be by it and pets dogs cats whatever to be by it um, you want to keep them away while it's wet that can be dangerous wouldn't kill them but i think they would get sick so after 19 years um, we actually live on a sand hill here and it takes a lot of water and a lot of fertilizer but those ants from the sand hill made it into our dining room this morning. My son woke me up at 7.30 poking me, Dad, we have ants. So that could be a lot worse ways to wake up. So um, I went out and I got this uh, out of the garage. I always keep some on hand and I sprayed inside the house and it dried. Actually, the, the ants stopped coming in. So now I'm spraying outside. And what you want to do is spray anywhere, just make a line because this is, they're not gonna get in on the bottom there because that's ground, foundation goes down three or four feet. Um, so you wanna spray, you know, like right where they would go, you know, underneath the siding. Once they cross this line, if they actually walk across this line, they're gonna die. So I'm just gonna keep spraying right along and I go right along my whole house. If you miss a spot, come back. I actually like to spray, you know, by the windows. Well, that's a sealed unit, so they can't get in there. But here's the, they can get in on this bottom part here. Uh, apologize for the mess, but I spray along the whole perimeter of the house. I already sprayed this, so it's a little wet, but I'm just showing you how I do the application. We actually used to spray paint Orkin hundreds of dollars a year. And when he was quitting, he actually said, go to Menards and get this. It's basically what I'm spraying. Just keep going up along. You don't want to be quite this liberal inside, like on a hardwood floor. I always hate to get wood wet, but you know, I go around, you know, in case there's holes that they can climb in there. This stuff, depending on the siding you have, it may stay in the siding. Um, my siding's 20 years old and faded already, so I'm not too concerned about it. Every area along the house. And this is where the ants were. So I was kind of just, you know, spot doing it. And I'm finding out, you know, since there were a ton and this dries really quickly, this is pretty good hardwood floor from Menards. Um, it's not gonna be a problem. So I'm just gonna spray that like that, but you can go all along the baseboards, along the carpet, along the windows, uh, anywhere that an, uh, ants can get in, cockroaches, wasps, anything, spiders, if it crawls across it, it's gonna die. So now I'm down here in the basement and I like to do a pretty a liberal application. The carpet will soak it up, but we always find in about a week, there are spiders just cur curled up and dead. So I go around and do that everywhere. One thing that the Orchid Man taught me was in the basement, go up into all these uh, spaces, floor joy spaces, and get all the cobwebs out. That's where they like to live. So I get the cobwebs out and I, with a vacuum or by my hand, and then I spray these areas as well. So there you have it. I'm done spraying outside. I'm done spraying inside. I'm going to go to the barn and start doing that on the inside and outside too. We don't want uh, the animals having all those. The barn tends to get really big spiders, and this takes care of them. It takes care of all these the only things that I really are cared about with this are the spiders and the ants, but it covers a lot of things like uh, silverfish, fleas, spiders, roaches, ants, and more. So, and it's good for up to 12 months. Spray it on when you are going to not have rain for a little while. You want it to dry, give it 30 minutes to an hour to make sure it's fully dry. Um, it won't hurt it. I don't think it'll be as effective, but then even in the rain outside, it's good six to 12 months. Um, I do it every three to six months just to make sure. And uh, with home defense, I got this at Menards. You can get it at Home Depot. You can get it at Fleet Farm. 
You can get it at any Ace Hardware store, um, but Spectracide is the way to go. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and look for my other um, videos on Northwoods Discovery. Thank you.